So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. I've got another question from one of my viewers and it's I think a very interesting one. I would like to share it with you. I found your website and I'm very interested in getting into microscopy but I don't know anything about biology and I wanted your advice on how I can learn about the scientific basics ideally through microscopy itself. I'm interested in microscopy because I like the idea of going to the park and collecting living things and being outside. I also love bugs very much. I've been looking at the simple microscopes on Craigslist. Simply put, I want to know what I'm looking at and looking for. I'm concerned that I won't be able to enjoy the samples because I'm unable to identify the most basic parts. I struggled in science class in high school and I got C's. For example, I don't know what bacteria even is. What's a eukaryote? I only know these terms from science class. I would appreciate any advice uh, that you have here. So first of all, thank you very much uh, for the question. And being, of course, a biology teacher myself, uh, I feel that this uh, question is very appropriate uh, for me. Um, and I want to just reassure you that the things that you probably have learned in biology class in high school um, is, are not directly relevant, uh, or in all cases directly relevant to microscopy as a hobby. Uh, I have to tell you, I'm already happy that uh, the biology lessons, and I say this as being a biology teacher myself, um, I'm already happy that the biology lessons did not deter you so much and did not destroy your interest <laughs> so much um, that uh, you're not even interested in nature observation anymore. And because this actually does happen, that uh, essentially the, the lessons that are uh, being taught in school actually yeah, end up doing exactly the opposite of what they should do. They actually sometimes even destroy the interest in, in the students. That's something that should not happen. In that sense, I'm already happy that this did not happen uh, to you in your case. I just want to reassure you um, as well that the, the purpose of biology lessons in school are quite different um, than um, identifying microorganisms. Um, the biology lessons in school are um, focused primarily a lot on, on certain biological processes. Um, yeah, basically, what is photosynthesis? Uh, what are the yeah, structure of a cell, how, how the cell division work, yeah? and maybe even uh, the functioning of the human body um, and so on. Um, but they're not really, their goal is not really directly relevant for, for identifying microorganisms if you want to do microscopy as a hobby. Um, because that is actually already um, somewhat on a different level and maybe even significantly more, I would say maybe specific. Okay, so the knowledge of biodiversity is in some cases deliberately um, excluded uh, from, from biology lessons because uh, um, the biology lessons should uh, focus um, on the basic understanding how living things work. Okay, so that is a little bit of a thing here. And for this reason, I've got a few uh, books here, two books that I would like to recommend. Um, one have quite specific and one more general. Um, and uh, I hope that they kind of will help you a little bit to get started here. And the first book that I would like to recommend is written in German, but do not let this deter you. It's an identification book here. For copyright reasons, I do not want to open it, unfortunately. Um, but um, I just let me assure you there are uh, what 1,500 drawings in here. And uh, if you see some um, microorganism um, in, in water, in pond water, for example, um, then you can actually try to identify it using the drawings that are found in here. Um, there are, of course, all the descriptions included and the name of the organism. And once you've got the name, then you can always go online into Google and you can type in the name and then you can get more information in English. Um, or if you want uh, to rely on the information in the book and if you do not speak German, then I recommend that you download uh, the Google Translate app from your mobile phone. You can take a picture of the text um, and this picture will then be translated um, into English or into whatever language you would like. Okay, so this is a, a very, um, actually a very good book. I highly recommend this. Um, however, it's uh, quite, um, yeah, quite detailed in, in the sense that it contains a lot of uh, organisms here. This here is the old edition. It's, it's green, but it's the same, same author. It's a little bit uh, smaller. Um, I think one of the reasons is because the drawings are a little bit smaller. But if you can get this book here um, as well, I, I would say it's uh, also perfectly fine. Both of them, old edition, new edition. Okay. So um, if you want to have it a little bit more general, then I recommend this book over here. Complete book of the microscope. Uh, please be careful. There is, um, yeah, there are uh, some other books with a very similar title. Okay, um, so this is the one, the way that it looks like. Uh, and uh, it, this is not a children's book. Okay, it contains a lot of photographs, a few drawing, drawings as well. 
and and it covers pretty much um, yeah a very broad different range of different um, aspects. Um, however, um, it also includes a lot of electron micrographs um, from uh, electron microscopes. Uh, these uh, they look very nice uh, those uh, yeah pictures, but uh, that is different than um, how you would actually see it with a light microscope. I just wanted to inform you on that. However, it does give you uh, yeah a very good overview. Um, I ju I'm just gonna read it out here: insects up close, food science fungi, water plants, how plants spread plant food, looking at plants, microscopes in medicine, viruses even. Viruses are too small to be seen with a light microscope, but it, they still included them here inside the nucleus body cells. Yeah, So uh, there are lots of uh, different uh, topics and, uh, and I think it would give you a pretty good overview of, of the microscopic world, right? especially if you don't know very much. I highly recommend this one and it's very, um, how do you say, <laughs> very colorful. Okay, lots of pictures. Uh, quite uh, quite a nice book. Okay, um, so again, yeah, very general and colorful and and relatively specific here. So um, what I think what I would like to say here is is the following is is that. Um, microscopy, as just like many other hobbies, are, are hobbies of learning, right? You want to learn new things and you want to discover new things. And for this reason, I would like to encourage you to, uh, regardless of what your experiences were in school, um, just forget about those a little bit and just uh, you know, start fresh and, and uh, have a different view on, of biology by simply by observing nature. Okay, I think one of the reasons why I like microscopy so much, being a biology teacher and a microbiologist in any case, I've got all of the theoretical background, right? But sometimes this theory does not really connect me to my immediate environment. Yeah? And, and it's quite different uh, if you actually take a sample that you found somewhere in the park and you put it under the microscope, you take a picture of it, um, you're a little bit surprised because you don't know what it is maybe, yeah? and you try to figure it out. And, and so yeah, and uh, that's part of the whole thing. And uh, this, um, I don't know, this, this aspect of mystery and discovery, that is something that uh, we're still able to have with uh, microscopy as a hobby, okay? So I uh, just wanted to reassure you is regardless of what your experiences were in, in school, um, that's now the possibility for a fresh and new start uh, and uh, maybe a different view of our environment and of, of nature. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm sure that uh, many of you have some comments and opinions about that uh, as well. Please uh, do leave your, your comments and opinions in the comments section below. Yeah, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting. See you around next time. Bye-bye.